can you give us some information on golf lessons? You know, topics, schedules, fees. Sure, sure, I can give you all that information, but uh, first I have a couple of questions for you. Uh, are you experienced or a beginner? And what kind of information are you, uh, in time frame, are you talking about specifically? Well, I don't have any formal training, just watched a few tournaments, tried to hit a few balls, and time frame, uh, I'd like to be pretty good within a couple of weeks. I'm starting on a new job, and the culture there is golf. You know, they do a lot of business on the golf course. I understand, I understand, so, uh, so let's see. To answer your question about uh, what we cover in the lessons, we, you know, they go through the basic shots, how to improve your swing, that sort of thing. And the charges are gonna be, you know, there's just a wide range, anywhere from 125 an hour to 2200 an hour. It basically depends on the pro. We have 30 minute lessons and 60 minute private sessions. Or you could book a pro for a two-hour playing session. The pro tees off with you, gives you feedback on your shots as you play around on the course, and so forth. No, 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 no. You see, I don't have time to actually go out to the club. Um, I just want to get just, you know, just a few tips. What? I, I, look, I don't have time to actually go out to the golf course. I just need someone to tell me how it's done. You know, maybe maybe one of your pros has something online. I just need the key principles. Yeah, you know, I'm really a quick study. I'll pick it up quickly. Can you imagine such a conversation? It's pretty naive, right? Yet, that's the most frequent approach people take to improve their presentation skills in general and to practice for a big presentation in general. That is, they erroneously think they can build expertise or practice a presentation by doing a mental walkthrough. That makes no more sense in presenting than in golf. So what are the best approaches to practice a presentation? Well, first, you want to create a key word or key phrase outline as a memory jogger. This guides your practice to keep you on target and it provides a security blanket for your actual event. And then you want to talk and walk through the actual presentation. Stop to record your time on each little segment of your presentation and this record allows you the the flexibility to adjust your timing on the fly if you have to cut it during the presentation. When it runs short because a decision maker arrives late or the previous speaker runs longer than expected. Nothing builds confidence like knowing you have the right content, well phrased, and timed perfectly. And then as you're practicing, jot down polished keepers as they roll off your tongue during that practice capturing those comments that you phrase extraordinarily well, that helps you keep them in mind and not forget them in the real event. And then video record your practice presentation and listen to it. Analyze things you'd like to improve such as rough transitions, repetitious gestures, voice that trails off at the end of sentences, word fillers, ah, uh, mm, mm. And then Clean up your outline if you've made changes during your practice, but never make dramatic, drastic outline layout changes on that security blanket outline because your brain actually photographs and memorizes how it works on the page should you have to glance at that, that outline during your actual delivery. Those last minute changes will confuse rather than help you. Whether golfing or presenting, nothing improves performance like real practice.